Dear brothers, dear sisters, the virtue of solitude. To be alone, to live through solitude, is, uh, brings pain in our lives. It might be you're in a bus full of people, but you feel isolated, you feel alone. It might be in your home with others, in your family, and there might be periods when you feel alone, misunderstood. Or you might be physically alone, living alone in a home, in your home. So, solitude is part of life. But at the same time, it doesn't mean that it's, uh, there shouldn't be any pain, because uh, God himself will send the Bible. It is not good for a man to be alone. It's not good for a human being to be alone. So it's part of life. But at the same time, there's a pain associated with solitude. So at the same time, the question becomes, what can I go, what can I learn through solitude? How can I grow through solitude? Because it's part of life. I cannot uh, flee from it. It's, it's there. It's part of life. But at the same time, how can I go through it? How can I go through solitude? One way to go through solitude is to, through sol our own solitude, my, through my personal solitude, to be more conscious that I am a being of relation. I made for I made for relationships with others. Maybe sometimes I'd rather be uh, live isolated. Uh, maybe, but who are you as a human being? When you suffer from being alone, it it it's uh, it calls to you to be more conscious that you we are made for each other. We're people of relations. Uh, what's our things important? What are in life? What, whether it's through work leisure, rest, uh, family life. Uh, at the heart, it's all about relationships, relationships with each other. Uh, so a part of solitude where we are, exist as a human being with our own identity, but open to others. We live open to others too. So we can learn through solitude to be more conscious that we're made to be open to others and to love others and be loved by others. One aspect of the of the conscience, some things we can be more conscious of, is uh, that we're made for God in the sense that in solitude we discover or we're more conscious because we know it. We're more conscious that the world is, is not enough. All the, the good things in the world, it's good, but it's not enough. All the success in the world is good, but it's not enough. All the health in the world, it's good, but it's not enough. We long for more. Our soul, our, our heart, our spirit longs for more. Our, our, all our body and soul, we long for more. So solitude is a, a moment to be more conscious that we, we are made for God, that there is a thirst for God within us. So solitude uh, is part of life. Uh, solitude is painful at times, maybe often. But at the same time, through solitude, we can learn to be more open to God and more open to others and to be more conscious that we are a being of relationships.